We must build bridges of cooperation and trust, not drive the wedge of disunity and dis — and really, it's what it is — division. It's pure, unadulterated division. We have to unify. Police and sheriffs are members of our community. They're friends and neighbors. They're mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. And they leave behind loved ones every day who worry about whether or not they'll come home safe and sound. We must support the incredible men and women of law enforcement. And we must support the victims of crime. I have ordered the Department of Homeland Security to create an office to serve American victims. The office is called VOICE, Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement. We are providing a voice to those who have been ignored by our media and silenced by special interests. Joining us Joining us in the audience tonight are four very brave Americans whose government failed them. Their names are Jameel Shaw, Susan Oliver, Jenna Oliver, and Jessica Davis. Jameel's 17-year-old son was viciously murdered by an illegal immigrant gang member who had just been released from prison. Jameel Shaw, Jr. was an incredible young man with unlimited potential, who was getting ready to go to college, where he would have excelled as a great college quarterback. But he never got the chance. His father, who is in the audience tonight, has become a very good friend of mine. Jamil, thank you. Thank you. Also with us are Susan Oliver and Jessica Davis. Their husbands, Deputy Sheriff Danny Oliver and Detective Michael Davis, were slain in the line of duty in California. They were pillars of their community. These brave men were viciously gunned down by an illegal immigrant with a criminal record, and two prior deportations should have never been in our country. Sitting with Susan is her daughter, Jenna. Jenna, I want you to know that your father was a hero and that tonight you have the love of an entire country supporting you and praying for you. To Jamil, Jenna, Susan, and Jessica, I want you to know that we will never stop fighting for justice. Your loved ones will never, ever be forgotten. We will always honor their memory. My budget also puts America first by keeping tax dollars in America to help veterans and first responders. So important.